Hey everybody, guess where we're going, Costco. <laughs> I cannot quit with these bracelets. I mean, I just can't stop it. And with the purse. And the shoes, it's like the, bla the, the season of uh, navy and white. What? Huh? What? Nobody wants to see that again? Okay, well, yes they do. We have, five, we have five more prints from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory that we had printed at Costco. How much of a coupon was it? $10 off each of the prints. does that last? Should we get more done while they have that? Oh. Well, anyway, there's 14 total. So now we have seven. Like, so there's 14 total. Yeah. So in the back of our van, we have the seats down, and I'll show you. My husband won this bench at a raffle Crown royal bench with like a cooler built in to the seat. <laughs> Twenty dollar raffle. It's a anyway. wooden bench that seats probably two. It's got a fold up seat, and inside is a sectioned off. So it's two sections basically of a stainless steel cooler with the drain plugs on both sides. So for twenty bucks, that's awesome. Yeah. Boom. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Okay, so I got these. They're wrapped up, so I'll open them when we get home. It's not very wide. I don't think I'm going to be able to find pillows for it. I mean, it's basically a cooler. See, there's drains on them. And then, you know, you can sit on it too. Anyway, so that's what that looks like. So now we're on our way to the post office. Okay, so I returned those four shoes to um, 6 p.m., I normally have great luck with them. Now the thing is with 6 p.m. compared to Zappos is that you have to pay for your return. And I returned the four pair. I ended up returning those black satin shoes that he didn't like and I liked because I just thought, where am I going to go that's really dressy without him and he's not into it and it just, I don't know. I think I could find something better that we're like both into. So I just returned them all, and it was, how much to return the box? $12.86, so just under $13. You win some, you lose some. I've We've both gotten great deals off of 6 p.m. I think in the end, you win, either way. And I'm starting to look at, like, bags and stuff on there, you know, not just, I've always just bought clothing, but I'm starting to look at accessories through them, too. And uh, so that's that. I wish there was a Charming Charlie's in this mall. I really want to get, there's two things I really want to get there. Well, you didn't bring your coupon with you for one. Number two, there's not one. I don't know, but I could spend some time in that store. Mm. Where are we going now? Well, this was an exciting little decision. <laughs> Just me and the little one. Just went into Pier 1 didn't find anything that we couldn't live without for their little tiki room. I'm looking for something that's like a small vase with a palm frond, like a little small palm frond. I'm surprised they didn't have it. Um, anyway, now we are headed towards, we're going to walk, right, to Whole Foods and get a snack. Aren't those pretty flowers? I like to Yeah. <laughs> I love this store. Okay, let's go. It bit your finger? <laughs> let's go. It's like 95 degrees out. I don't know what the deal was. Oh, hold on. That I'm wearing pants. Like, it's ridiculous. I'm literally sweating my butt Pretty off. flowers outside of Whole Foods. Oh, so pretty. Oh, let's go get something to drink. Yeah. And a snack. Are you hot? Mm -hmm. It's hot out. So let's go through this way and try to find them. Oh, look at all these. They've got the pretty little tiny orchids. Too. I love those. Oh my goodness. You want to get up by me? Huh? Oh, you don't want to leave Whole Foods. 
It's and so either, hard we, to leave. If we didn't leave, then we would have been in trouble. <laughs> because it's like 90, it's 105. <laughs> Stuff it. It's 105. And I'm wearing jeans. That was really dumb. Yeah, well, I'm gonna say Bad O O T D decision. I'm telling you, these bags are worth their weight in gold. I hope so, because it's got my cheese and beer in it. <laughs> we only got one more stop, though. Okay, Trader Joe's for bread? Yep. Okay. Did I mention that it was hot today? Lord, Lord. I went into Trader Joe's because I'm staying in the air conditioning with the um, princesses. This, oh my goodness. It has no caffeine and it is literally, oh, so good. I love that dog. You love that dog? Yeah. We parked right by PetSmart. It's just like a lot of people like walking their dogs before they get back in the car. Yeah. I got this. Am I the last person on earth to try this? You want to buy a dog like that? No, we're getting a poodle. No, I don't like poodles. Who doesn't like poodles? A poodle is a dog. You want just a chihuahua? They're more comfortable? Yeah, I like chihuahuas. Explain that to me because that doesn't make sense. How are chihuahuas more comfortable? Sometimes you just got to hear these conversations. They are crazy. Plus, I'm going to try this drink. Ah, it's going to explode. Uh -oh. Mama, <laughs> what? Find chihuahua that's nice and not me. We're not getting a chihuahua because they shed. You know mommy's rule, no shedding dogs. Mama, that dog doesn't shed. Do you hear her yelling at me? A chihuahua shed. I can't make it not shed. Okay, like my life will literally never not have a... Uh, Mama! What, Mama! Yes, princess of the universe. Mama, that's not... That doesn't shed. Right do, now. Do you hear this? Right now, huh? Uh-huh. Who's in charge? Me or you? Me. You? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. No. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I think it's done exploding. Let's see what happens with this. What? Okay, so it's fermented tea that has naturally occurring alcohol. It tastes really weird though. Ugh. You know what it tastes like? You know how much this bottle was? I don't know where the receipt is, but it was probably like, I don't know. I don't even know how much this was. It was probably like five dollars. Oh god, it exploded all over me again. Like fermented much? Wait, you gotta explode every time? It's like so fermented, it's like overly excited. My drink! Like, my pants are, like, completely wet where I've been hold, like, holding this and opening it. Mike, I mean, look! People, Can you cannot die? make this stuff up. This has turned into the most expensive, weirdest, drippiest drink, drink situation. I mean, do you like this? I don't blame you. I'm not asking you. I'm asking the people of uh, planet Earth that are going to watch this video. Seven on your watch. It's the aftertaste. If you kind of go for it and like guzzle it, it can happen. But then it's like that last part of the drink. You're like, whoa. It's almost like it's like it's not sinusy like wasabi. It's like brain freeze kind of and if you took a shot of like super super cold apple apple cider vinegar that's what it's like
good, 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 whoa. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things. That is the weirdest thing. Anyway, then I'm going to totally trick my husband with it. Look, not even kidding. And that's in the shade. It's 105 when we're parked in the sun. Brian, you have got to try this. It is so good. Take so a big high. drink. No, it's good. No, it smells horrible. It's really good. It's like really sweet lemonade. You're a liar. <laughs> Apple cider vinegar. Yeah, pretty much. Don't you think so? It says that it's um, it, it's fermented tea that has naturally occurring alcohol. Do not consume if you're avoiding alcohol due to pregnancy, allergies, sensitivities, or religious beliefs. Like, how much alcohol could it have in it? Well, that, that's not the point. I mean, if there's any alcohol in your, it's against your religion to drink, especially on certain days. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's like, how well, much am I consuming? Maybe I don't want to be... Vanilla cream. Maybe I don't want to be drinking. Oh, I've already gone over that. That's like yeah. way, that's like way cheaper and maybe we just have cheap taste. No, maybe we just appreciate things that don't have to have a hefty price tag. So like yeah. I'm, how much was this? What? This. I have no idea. I've got to drink it because you know it was like at Whole Foods, is, this is like a oh, sure. trendy drink. It's probably I'm drinking it. This is my lunch. I'm gonna like vinegar it up. I'm gonna smell like a salad. Oh, Alta. Oh. See, he knows me. Okay, so we're back home. I'm gonna show you this. I got this. Um, they're selling these now. The United States Postal Service. These are the stamp, current stamps. I mean, how perfect is that for in here? Okay. So we are going to, or, we are, we ordered these at Costco. That's where we ordered the other ones from. And we were happy with them, so hopefully we'll be happy with these too. Ah, oh, my battery's getting low. We gotta hurry. Oh, those are my two favorites too. I said they're my two favorites. So uh, much like more awesome in person. Mm. So it's shiny because it's covered in plastic still, like shrink wrap plastic. But there are canvas, printed on canvas. We did it wrapped, so you see some of the images on the side as well. But we got 18 by 24. So You know, it wraps some, not as much on the sides, but, you know, that's the size we're doing all of them. Yay! Do you love them? Mm-hmm. Really like Grand Tour. What's up, babe? Really like what? The Grand Tour. Yeah, I do too. Mommy! Mommy! What, Shaker Plum? Mommy! Mwah! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Oh! Venus is beautiful. Yeah. This one, I love it. See, I didn't even notice like this detail in the on the computer and all the people. Oh, these are so cool. It's just gorgeous. Do you love it? It's got like a modern but a deco vibe to it. Wow. It says, like Luke Skywalker's plan, Kepler 16b yeah. orbits a pair of stars. Can Depicted here, Kepler 16b might also be a gas giant like Saturn. Prospects for life on this unusual world aren't good, which are similar to that of dry ice. Discovery indicates that the movie's iconic double sunset is anything but science fiction. Where your shadow always has company. <laughs> so we're making a panini sandwich. Um, my husband got those French baguettes from Trader Joe's. Well, so let's see how it works. Like a modified version of the one from Panera. It's called St. Louis Bread Company here. Do they call it Panera here now? They changed it to Panera. They changed it to Panera. Well, it, start, it started as St. Louis Bread Company. Olive oil the inside, so you cut it in half, olive oil the inside. You can use whatever bread you want, it doesn't matter. They usually use, what's that one bread? Um, ciabatta. Ciabatta, which 
Tabata sometimes is like really thick. Yeah. And, and really. Um, so we thought we wanted to try this. Hard. Yeah. Uh, just take pepper. A little bit of garlic powder just to add some flavor. Yeah, because usually you would put um, pesto on this too, but we don't have pesto. We're just using the fresh basil, as you can see here. Yeah. So then, take some cheese. And the other thing is you use the big mozzarella balls, and then you can slice those. Yeah, usually, but we're using this because we just, I mean, we obviously have a lot of it. A lot it. of cheese. Yeah. Basil from uh, Whole Foods. You need another what? Oh, you need a napkin? Tomato. So, basil, uh, tomato, did the bread, and then the cheese. And then just take it, flatten it, just with hand. And then we have a griddler. So the other thing I do is I just do a little bit of dab of olive oil, just on the top. When they're done? When they're done. So, see, it turned to green, so technically it's done. Yum. Yeah, boom, done. And that's how it happens. Kick pow. Yum. Okay, so we're just finishing up dinner, and my husband opened us each one of these. Yeah, we bought it's that. a Japanese beer, and we got this at... It's like a Belgian wine, basically, but it's Japanese. And it's I even we got those at Whole Foods. We got we're going to get them ready for bed, and we are going to husband's ideal. Um, we were going to watch Game of Thrones tonight, like the last episode, getting in prep for tomorrow. But we've decided instead we're going to watch a season of Drunk History. Husband's idea, but I think it'll be fun. So we're going to have some drinks, which we hardly ever do this <laughs> so we'll be lightweight so let's see how far into the season we get but uh, we're gonna do that and try these beers out and we'll let you know how they are and then tomorrow night we're going to watch the two episodes back to back because tomorrow's season finale Woo! put down the ducky Lots of old school Sesame Street goes on around here. It's flavorful. It's pretty good. So, before I take my hat off, and <laughs> I have looked so bad in my last several videos, Brian. Who cares? Like, seriously. Okay, but I wanted to real quick show you, first of all, as far as like this day goes, we're about to get into that plum sake and watch, oh, it's back on the, back on the, what's that called, screensaver, which leads to a new video that I'm going to post. So go to the video because yes, we're going to do Drunk History and I'll be back with you in a minute in this video. Okay, I just did my little look at, um, I, uh, what's it called? Apple TV, uh, you know, my little like review or, wh what should I even call it? I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Okay, so I just did the Apple TV video and another reason why I love this furniture from Ikea, like seriously, this is the setup. They're so easy to move. I mean, they're so lightweight. And one more thing before I go. Look at these pretty flowers my husband got. And I put them in this um, sake. How appropriate. Sake. Um, I don't know. What would you call that? Pitcher thing that I've turned into a vase. Sake dispenser. And with the, with the uh, eucalyptus. And then... The rest of the eucalyptus with, sorry, we have like the lights out because we're getting ready to watch 
but um, I put these black marbles in here and I have the eucalyptus. Now I took all the leaves off so that just the stems were in the water so that like the leaves didn't rot. But oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. So anyway, I am about to take my hat off <laughs> and get some comfortable clothes on and we are going to have our date night.